Which cat is different from the rest? Right. Unlike other kitties, which look surprised, this one is actually angry. Will you manage to find a C among all these O's? Here it is, hiding close to the bottom of the image. One monkey is different, but which one? It's the monkey covering its ears. Something is off in this image, but what exactly? The woman's reflection is all wrong. And what's wrong in this image? The street looks as if it's nighttime, but the sky is as bright as it is during the day. And how about this domino? Does it look okay to you? A domino can have a maximum of six dots on each of its sides. There's something strange in this picture. Can you spot it? The yellow car on the left has its steering wheel on the right, and no one is behind it. Which is the odd one? Yep, this cat looks much sadder than the others. Have you noticed anything strange here? Hey, watch out! You're trying to put dirty laundry in the dishwasher. I feel something is off in this image, but what? Who let the dog out? Ahem. I bet the dog isn't supposed to be there. Which image is the odd one? A horse is hiding among these cows. Can you spot anything strange in this picture? Is that a pirate on a plane? Which picture is the odd one? Oh wow, I totally failed this one. The door of a different color. Who could have thought? Can you spot a puppy among these pandas? Ah, here it is, but it wasn't an easy feat to find it. Which mouse is different? Oh ho! It's getting more and more difficult. Can you find the odd flower? If you need more time, you can pause the video. I won't count it as cheating. It's the one in the right bottom corner. It has one additional pink petal. Which sneaker is the odd one? Ah, I see. It doesn't have a little red spot. What's wrong in this picture? The shadows can't fall this way if the sun is on the left. Which pizza is different from the others? It's the one on the right bottom corner. It has more olives than the rest. There's something very, very wrong in this picture. Can you figure out what it is? Look at this woman, she has three arms. 
Can you find an O among these Qs? Here it is, almost right in the center. There's a three hiding among all these eights. Can you spot it? I got it right, and you? Believe it or not, there's one bunny among these cats. Where is it? Its long ears and teeth have given the rabbit away. Which smiley face is different from the others? Hmm, this one seems to be missing its nose. And the first one is hiding the number 476. There you go. If that was too simple, how about this one? I hope you guessed it was 86347. And now let's test your eyes with some hidden words. You still have 10 seconds for each of them. I'm sure you figured out, it's the word never. Can you read what this picture says? I can't sleep, how sad. This one is hiding the name of some month. You have to think outside the box to read it. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Well, the secret was to split it in half. Then you can see it's July. How about this one? It's the word run hiding in the back. Another one for you. Hope you found the gold. Here comes a tricky one. It takes some brain power to see its brain. Another one in this category. It's only getting more complicated. If you read the word music between the lines, you must be a genius. Now let's see if you can decipher these secret messages. I give you 10 seconds for this one. Well, if someone says it's just a bunch of letters without meaning, you can easily prove them wrong. What do you see here? The power of imagination makes us infinite. Couldn't agree more. Here's another one. I hope you always desire to learn something useful. You deserve some dessert for all that mental activity. Here's just one cupcake among all those ice cream cones. Try to find it. There it is. Yum. Get a tomato to go. I can only see a bunch of apples. 
but maybe you'll be luckier here. Found it! There's a butterfly hiding somewhere among those flowers. Do you see it? Fantastic! It's right there! Can you find the one and only pineapple in this image? Great job! One of these colorful leaves is in fact a mushroom. Can you spot it? Well done! How about a safari to give your eyes another test? Do you see anyone hiding in these leaves? Yep, it's a chameleon. And those guys know how to blend with the surroundings. There must be a groundhog hiding somewhere in the rocks. Find it in 10 seconds. Wow, that was neat. One coyote won't do you much harm, but if it brings some friends, Better make sure this area is coyote free. Start looking for a different picnic spot. One of those guys is right here. Even though this picture seems okay, there's a mistake in it. The numbers on the dial are mixed up. 11 goes before 9. Try to find the odd image. It's the house with a little red window. This picture doesn't look right to me, but why? Um, something's definitely wrong with the sand pail. Its shape is kind of bizarre. How many dolphins can you see in this picture? Well, it's been a tough feat to find all 17. Can you find three words hidden in this picture? Cloud, storm, and damp. Aha! Uh -huh, these words were hidden pretty well. Can you figure out what's wrong in this picture? Minimum is always at the bottom, and maximum is at the top. There's a deer in this picture. The poor thing doesn't want to be found. But can you see it? A small hint. Look behind the tree. Are these two squares of the same color, or are they different? The color is the same. To make sure it's true, cover the line with your finger. See? Can you spot anything wrong in this picture? Hmm, I'm quite sure butterflies don't fly in the winter. One of these clovers is unlucky. It only has three leaves. Can you spot it? Yep, it's the one in the bottom row. Something seems to be a bit off in this image, but what?
surely they didn't have pacifiers in the Stone Age. One of these creepy threes is even creepier than the rest. Which one? Uh-oh, there's something wrong with its eye. This picture seems weird, but why? The clock on the tower shows 2 o'clock. No matter if it's AM or PM, sunsets don't usually happen at this time. One of the dogs is different from the rest. Which pooch is it? Ah yes, the one with its mouth closed. Something's off in this picture. Care to figure out what? Exactly. Pigeons don't normally swim among ducks. Or at all, for that matter. Something really spooky is going on in this picture. What is it? There's a snake in a jar of pickles! Which penguin is different from its siblings? Ah, gotcha! Two penguins are different from the rest. Three words are hidden in this picture. Can you find all of them? These words are frost, ice, and snow. One apple's different from the rest. Can you find it? Right! The worm living inside this apple doesn't look as the others. Try to find the odd light bulb. Whew, that wasn't easy. I know something's wrong in this picture, but I can't grasp what exactly. Can you? The calendars claim it's 2018, but on the computer screen, I mean, on the computer screen, you can see another year, 2017. Uh-oh, Tommy was exploring old caves outside the city when he got trapped in a mysterious dungeon. There were three ways out, but only one of them was safe. Behind the first door, a fire was raging. Behind the second door, there was acid rain, which could melt any substance within seconds. Behind the third door, there was a huge brown bear that hadn't eaten for two years. Which way should Tommy choose? Tommy should choose the third way. No animal can go for two years without food and survive. Barely. <laughs> it was a stormy day, and it had been raining for several hours straight. A car accident happened in a tunnel. The yellow car crashed into the red one. The driver of the yellow car said it had been raining so heavily he hadn't seen anything. So the accident wasn't totally his fault. But the police asked the man to stop lying and claimed it was all his fault. Why? The accident happened in the tunnel. It couldn't be raining there. Mrs. McAdams, who was having a day off with her friends, came back home in the middle of the day to change her clothes. There, she found out that her daughter, Eveline, who she'd grounded, wasn't at home. Mrs. McAdams got angry and texted Eveline, asking where she was. Eveline texted her back, saying she was at school. The girl even attached a picture of the classroom. Mrs. McAdams didn't believe her daughter and told her to come home immediately. How did she understand Eveline wasn't at school? Look closely at her cell phone. It's Sunday. There's no school on Sundays. Ned works in a club. 
His job is to check people's ID cards and to not let suspicious people or people younger than 21 years old get inside. Take a look at these three ID cards and figure out who shouldn't enter the club. The first person is already 21, and nothing else looks suspicious in his ID. The second girl seems alright too. It's written that Brielle was born on September 31st. Ah, but such date doesn't exist. Her ID must be fake. Mrs. Cabell is the owner of a small company producing expensive designer cups. On Friday, when the working week was finally over, she got a call from her bank. The woman found out that someone had stolen all the money she had saved. Mrs. Cabell realized it must have been one of her workers, so she asked each of them what they had been doing that day. Sloan, a sales manager, said she had been talking to their clients and looking for new ones. Atticus, a potter, said he always made one cup a day, and he showed all the cups he had done that week. Sierra, a designer, said she had been working, but she also admitted she hadn't been really productive that day because of some family issues. Who lied? Atticus. There are five working days in a regular week. The man said he made one mug a day, but he only showed four mugs. It means he missed one day of work. Lennox and Finn were friends living in the same college dorm. One day, Lennox reported that something had happened to his friend. He said Finn hadn't left his room all day. He also never responded to any of Lennox's texts. In the evening, Lennox started to worry and knocked on Finn's door, but the guy didn't answer. Lennox peeked through the keyhole and saw that his friend was lying on the floor, so he called the police. After that, Lennox got arrested. Why? Lennox has a bandage on his right eye, but the keyhole is located in such a way that it's only possible to look inside with the right eye. It means the guy couldn't do it. He simply knew what had happened. Esme was having a walk in the forest and got lost. For about the 20th time. Hey, don't ask! Anyway, she found the witch's house, walked in, said hi, petted the cat, and asked the witch to show her the way home. But the witch had a problem. She was learning a new spell and accidentally did something strange to her chairs. On the bright side, she now had a riddle for Esme to solve. The witch had 20 chairs. Now, some of the chairs only had two legs, and half of the rest had no legs at all. How many legs did all these 20 chairs have in total? We know that some of the chairs have, on average, two legs per chair. The rest of them have either four legs or no legs at all. And since half of the rest have no legs, and the other half have four, together they have two legs per chair. So there are exactly 40 legs. Mr. Tucker was a businessman. He wanted to find an interesting hobby to impress people. He chose art, even though he knew nothing about it. Still, he kept buying paintings and even owned a couple of famous masterpieces. He liked to invite his potential business partners over to show off his collection. One day, his guest was Miss Geneva Darby, a young lady who owned a jewelry business. As always, Mr. Tucker boasted about his collection, but Miss Darby wasn't impressed. Why? Look closer at this supposedly 16th century painting. There are a couple of cars on the road. But there were no cars at that time, so the painting must be fake. The CEO of a large company called the police. He was sure that one of his employees, Victoria, had stolen a memory card with secret information. She was going to sell it to their competitors. The police arrived at Victoria's house, but the woman didn't let them in without a warrant. The officers had to leave to get all the necessary papers. By the time they were back, Victoria had already been sitting in her car, ready to drive off. The police officers arrested the woman. They searched her car and clothes, but found nothing. And then, when they were about to give up, one of the detectives realized where Victoria kept the memory card. Can you figure it out?
When the police first came to her, the woman had her hair down. But after that, Victoria changed her hairstyle. The memory card is in her bun. Yep, Victoria and her sticky bun. <laughs> Michael was going home from the gym when everything went black. When he regained consciousness, he found out he was in a locked room. Next to the door, there was a computer with a keyboard. On the screen, there was a riddle. Michael had to write the correct answer and the door would open. The riddle went like this. It makes two people out of one. What is it? Michael typed the needed word and the door opened. He was free to go. What was the answer? It's a mirror. Oh, I was guessing a buzzsaw, but this one is better and not as messy. Two best friends, Emily and Luna, came to a popular and expensive hair salon. At first, the administrator told the girls they had just one available hairstylist. But after making a phone call, she happily announced she had found another hairdresser. Emily and Luna could have their hair done at the same time. But in the process, it dawned on the girls that one of the hairstylists was fake. Which one? Both hairstylists are using regular scissors. But instead of hairspray, the one on the left is holding a can of bug spray. Yeah, that's a big clue right there. A man on a bike grabbed Sarah's bag with all her documents, money, and smartphone and sped off. The only way the girl can get her bag back is by taking someone's car and driving after the criminal. There are three vehicles parked nearby. Which one can Sarah break into and drive off? Whoops, I mean borrow. A man is sitting in the blue car. That's no good. If she decides to take the red car, CCTV will spot her. Her only option is the brown vehicle. Oh, and Sarah, don't forget to return the wheels when you get your bag back. Otherwise, you'll be Grand Theft Sarah. Mary and her younger brother Alex were mushroom hunting in the forest. Wait, mushroom hunting? What do you do, sneak up on them so they don't escape? Anyway, they started to quarrel. Alex got angry and ran away. After several minutes, Mary rushed after him. She was still fuming, but also worried. Soon, the girl reached a small river. A man was sitting on the shore. Um, did you see a teenager here? Mary asked. Yep, he's just taken a boat and made it to the other side. But Mary didn't believe the man. Why? The boat is indeed on the other side, but the paddles are lying next to the man. How could the boy cross the river without them? So, where's Alex? Kidnapped by the escaped mushrooms? We may never know. Ella came to a party that took place in her best friend's house. It was a riddle party. All the guests had to crack mysteries and participate in different challenges. Ella's task was to get out of a locked room in the basement. The girl was blindfolded, taken downstairs, and left alone. After pulling the piece of cloth off her eyes, Ella noticed the door had a code lock. She also spotted a sheet of paper lying on the floor next to the door. There were four flowers drawn there. Ella looked at them for a while and entered the correct code. The door opened and the girl joined the party. So what was the code? Ella counted the petals on each flower. The code was 5748. Carter was visiting his friend Matteo, who lived in another city. Matteo loved riddles. In the evening, he challenged Carter to get the key to the guest room where the guy was supposed to be sleeping. Matteo dropped the key in the bucket filled with cold water and told Carter to get it. But he couldn't touch the water or use anything to pull the key out. That night, Carter slept in the guest room. How did he get the key?
he put the bucket over a fire. The water started to boil and soon evaporated. After that, Carter picked the key up. Mateo was steamed. Kim and Ashley are best friends. They decided to spend summer vacation in Italy together. They were very lucky to buy cheap plane tickets. Their flight was at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, when the girls arrived at the airport, they realized it was the wrong one. Now they have two options. Take a high-speed train for 100 bucks to go to the right airport, or stay here and buy tickets for a later flight for $400. What should they choose? The second option. Look at the clock on the wall. It's 9.55 a.m. The boarding for their flight is already over. They won't make it even if they take the high-speed train. Kim and Ashley bought new tickets. They went to the airport restaurant to drink coffee. But one weird detail scared Kim away. She suggested they should leave that place as soon as possible. What did Kim see? This woman over there is a zombie. Wow, how did she get through security? When it was finally time to board the plane, it turned out there were no more economy class seats left. Kim and Ashley were offered to fly in business class. There, the girl saw three people. When the flight attendant served them fresh juice, she whispered that Kim and Ashley were extremely lucky. They were about to travel next to a famous Italian billionaire. Can you guess which of these passengers is the billionaire? This glamorous lady is a good candidate, but it's very unlikely a billionaire will wear a 100% polyester coat. This guy's business suit is very elegant, but look at his shoes. They seem quite cheap and worn out. This funny gentleman must be the real billionaire. Although his outfit is rather casual, his gold watch looks very expensive. The glamorous lady began to chat with Kim and Ashley. She told them she had recently visited an exotic island with her friends. Then she showed the girl some pictures. When the lady went to the bathroom, Ashley whispered to Kim, This woman is a liar. She photoshopped his picture. How did Ashley know that? It's all about the shadows. They all look natural, except for this one. The glamorous lady took a sip of her juice and started coughing. Suddenly, she fainted and fell into the billionaire's arms. He was ready to shout for help, but Kim stopped him, saying the woman was faking it. How did she know that? Look at the content of her bag. It's full of the billionaire's pictures and magazine articles. She also has a tattoo with his portrait on her leg. This woman is obsessed with him. It was lunchtime, and the billionaire offered Kim to play a game. There were three boxes. One of them contained a meal. There was a statement on each box, but only one of them was true. Can you help Kim figure out which box has food inside? If the food is in the first box, there are two true statements. And if the food is in the third box, there are also two true statements. But we need just one true statement. That's why the food can only be in the second box. Kim opened the box. She saw a delicious meal and a bank card. The billionaire said, congratulations, you've won $5 million. Enjoy your trip. Kim and Ashley landed in Rome and went to get their luggage. It turned out that Ashley had had the same suitcase as two other passengers, and they had a little quarrel. Can you help distribute the three suitcases among these people? The first suitcase belongs to this woman. It's covered in her dog's hair. The second suitcase has some traces of a star sticker. You've probably noticed it before on Ashley's bag. And the third suitcase belongs to this man. Since Kim and Ashley were now very rich, they decided to find a real estate agent who could help them rent a luxurious villa. Wow. They wanted to spend their vacation there. The agent showed them three houses. Can you help the girls choose the best one? There are cockroaches in the first house. Mm, they won't make very pleasant neighbors. The second house is too old. There's a crack in the wall, which doesn't look safe. And the third house looks pretty good. As for the pool, it can be easily cleaned. Yes! 
Kim and Ashley left the villa and went sightseeing. When they returned, they found out that someone had stolen their passports from the safe. The girls called the police, and they interrogated three suspects. The chef was too busy making dinner for Kim and Ashley. The cleaner was dealing with the pool all day, and the gardener said he had been outside planting flowers. He didn't notice anything suspicious. Who's lying? The gardener. If he planted the flowers, where are they? The police returned Kim and Ashley their passports and arrested the gardener. The next day, the girls went shopping. Sellers wanted to take advantage of rich and naive tourists and offered them overpriced souvenirs. Only one of these three items is a good deal. Can you guess which one? Take a look at this Venetian mask. It says made in China, which means that this mask can't be real. This magnet is of very low quality. The word Italy is spelled with an error. It simply can't cost $100. This blue cheese doesn't look fresh, but it's normal for this kind of product. This delicacy is the only thing that Kim and Ashley can buy here for a fair price. Gemma went to a restaurant with her fiancé, Mike. Soon after they finished a delicious meal, Mike felt sick. Gemma called the ambulance and police. The detective interrogated the restaurant staff. The waiter said that she hadn't touched the food. She just took the order and passed it to the chef. The dishwasher said she always washed the dishes thoroughly with high-quality soap. The chef said that he had prepared the meal according to the order. Who is lying? The chef. Take a look at his locker and his tattoo. He is Gemma's ex-boyfriend. He poisoned Mike out of jealousy. Will worked at a coffee shop. One day, his wife, Diana, came over to visit him. Which of the customers is his real wife? Will is married to the woman on the right. They have similar tattoos on their necks. Other girls are random customers who just happen to have the same name. Greg and his daughter Mia went for a walk after spending a year apart. Look at these six people very closely. Which couple is the father and daughter? Right you are! Mad scientist Fred accidentally revived a mummy. His creature escaped from the museum. Following the mummy, Fred ran to the park. Look at this image. Can you help Fred find the mummy? It's over there, behind the ice cream stand. George dreams of being in a relationship, so he's downloaded a dating app. Three girls have caught his attention. Lily is an artist who loves cooking and traveling. She has a cute cat. Jane is a yoga teacher and vegan enthusiast. She's afraid of heights and loves old movies. Nancy is a teacher. She loves reading and dancing and often goes hiking with friends. Which profile is fake? It's Jane's profile. If she's afraid of heights, why is she sitting on the roof in one of her pictures? Liza suspected that her husband Dan had been lying to her and decided to follow him. Instead of meeting with friends, Dan spent the evening at a restaurant with a mysterious woman. Liza couldn't see her face. She only spotted a purple hairband and red hair. When Dan left, Liza entered the restaurant. She wanted to talk to the woman. But she saw three ladies with identical hairbands. Which of them had dinner with Dan? It's this lady. The bun was on the right side of her head, and her hair didn't stick out. Stephen received an anonymous message, which said that some guys were planning to rob his house during his birthday party. Look at the guests. Which one is the thief? It's the woman on the left. 
take a look at her ears. She has ear pods and is talking to someone. Also, she is wearing a wig. Look at these burly Vikings. Can you see anything suspicious? This big guy is wearing sneakers. These shoes are from a different era. Can you spot an alien among the customers of this cafe? The alien is hiding in this woman's bag. Ava arrived at her granny's farm and immediately spotted something very weird outside. Can you figure out what's wrong here? Look at the spots on the cow's body. Those are butterflies. Tim and Claire had been planning their wedding for ages because they wanted everything to be perfect. Finally, their dream came true, and they got married. But something's not right in this picture. What is it? Look at the cake. It's for a birthday party, not for a wedding. Olivia left the supermarket, but returned a minute later because she had forgotten her wallet. Unfortunately, it was already gone. The police arrived and questioned three suspects. Sylvia, the cashier, said she hadn't seen the wallet after Olivia had paid. Ben, a pilot, said he hadn't seen the wallet because he'd left his glasses at home. And Jill, the manager, said she had been in a different part of the store and hadn't noticed anything suspicious. Who stole the wallet? It was Ben. He doesn't seem to see much without his glasses, so he can't be a pilot. But why would he lie about that? Billy and his mother entered a pet store to choose a puppy. But Billy noticed something very weird right away. Can you spot what's wrong here? A peacock is sitting in one of the cages.